Aptera Motors, a trailblazer in the realm of solar-powered electric vehicles, is making significant strides toward bringing its unique, highly energy-efficient vehicles to the market. However, like many startups in the rapidly evolving and highly competitive electric vehicle space, the company faces an uphill battle as it navigates the complex landscape of manufacturing, funding, and scaling. While Aptera Motors continues to push forward with its production intent builds, its timeline for customer deliveries remains uncertain, largely due to financial constraints that have long hindered the company's progress. Aptera's journey is particularly noteworthy, as it is currently the only remaining solar electric vehicle startup attempting to bring this groundbreaking technology to market. Over the years, we have followed Aptra's efforts closely, witnessing both the impressive progress the company has made and the significant challenges it continues to face. Despite the numerous hurdles in its path, Aptera Motors has remained committed to its vision of reimagining sustainable mobility and potentially revolutionizing the automotive industry. Aptera's story is a testament to the tenacity required to survive in the fiercely competitive electric vehicle industry, where numerous startups have fallen by the wayside unable to secure the funding or support necessary to bring their ideas to fruition. Aptera, on the other hand, has managed to stay afloat, thanks in large part to its loyal base of supporters, who have been willing to invest both emotionally and financially in the company's mission. At its core, Aptera Motors aims to create a vehicle that is not only environmentally friendly, but also incredibly efficient. The company's solar electric vehicle is designed to harness solar energy to extend its driving range, offering a glimpse into what the future of sustainable transportation could look like. However, as with any groundbreaking technology, bringing such a vehicle to market requires significant financial backing, and this has been one of Aptra's biggest challenges from the very beginning. In the startup world, securing funding is often the single most significant factor in determining whether a company will succeed or fail. For Aptera, the funding issue has been a recurring obstacle, delaying the development and production of its solar electric vehicles. Over the years, Aptera has leaned heavily on its loyal community of fans and reservation holders, who have eagerly invested in the hope of receiving one of the first 2000 launch edition solar electric vehicles. The company's crowdfunding efforts have been remarkably successful, raising an impressive $135 million from more than 17,000 investors making it the largest crowdfunded raise in the history of the automotive industry. This funding has played a crucial role in keeping Aptra's dream alive, enabling the company to advance through the pre-production phase and begin building production intent models. These body and carbon builds represent a significant milestone for the company, as they mark a major step toward testing and refining the vehicle ahead of full-scale production. However, despite this progress, Aptera still faces a daunting financial challenge securing enough capital to deliver its launch edition solar electric vehicles to its early investors and beyond. To address this need, Aptera Motors announced a partnership with U.S. Capital Global in July, with the goal of raising an additional $60 million in capital. This funding is critical for the company's efforts to transition from the pre-production phase to low-volume production, which is necessary to begin delivering vehicles to customers. However, as of now, Three months after the partnership was announced, Aptera has yet to secure the full amount of funding it needs, forcing the company to revise its estimated delivery timelines. Many reservation holders recently noticed updates to their estimated delivery dates, with timelines shifting further into the future. This change was first reported on the Aptera Owners Club Discord page, where several investors in Aptra's Accelerator program shared that their delivery estimates had been pushed back from the first half of 2025 to 2026. For those not part of the Accelerator program, the outlook is even less certain. For instance, some reservation holders who are not Accelerators have seen their estimated delivery timelines changed from 2026 to TBA, leaving them in a state of limbo. Despite these setbacks, a small group of early investors those who contributed significant amounts of money during the crowdfunding campaign are still on track to receive their vehicles before the end of 2025. However, the overall picture remains muddled, with delivery estimates varying widely depending on one's investment tier and the most recent updates from Aptera. Chris McCammon, Aptera's head of content, was active on the Discord page, providing some clarity regarding the company's current plans. According to McCammon, 
Apt Era is targeting the production of 60 launch edition solar electric vehicles for delivery in 2025, meaning that only the top 60 investors in the Accelerator program will receive their vehicles next year. The remaining 1,940 accelerators will have to wait until at least 2026 for their deliveries, assuming that the company can secure the necessary funding to ramp up production. To gain further insight into Aptra's plans, we reached out to the company directly. A representative for Apt Era confirmed that the goal is to produce and deliver 60 customer vehicles in 2025, but emphasized that the company's ability to meet this target hinges on securing the $60 million in funding from U.S. Capital Global. The representative also noted that low-volume production in 2025, as well as the scaled production expected to follow in 2026 and beyond, will require additional rounds of funding beyond the initial $60 million. At present, Aptra's primary focus is on securing the financing necessary to stay on track with its production schedule. As the representative explained, the company is actively pursuing the $60 million target, which it hopes to achieve through a series of transactions over the next three to six months. This funding is essential for Apt Era to advance to the low-volume production phase, and once the funds are secured, the company expects to enter production within 9 to 12 months. While McCammon's estimate of 60 accelerator deliveries in 2025 aligns with Aptra's current production goals, it is important to note that this number is far from guaranteed. The total number of vehicles produced and delivered next year will depend heavily on whether Apt Era can secure the $60 million in funding, and the situation remains fluid, with potential for further delays if the necessary capital is not secured in a timely manner. For some reservation holders, the news of delayed deliveries has been disheartening. However, given the company's financial situation and the complexities of bringing a new vehicle to market, the revised timelines should not come as a surprise. In fact, even back in July, when the U.S. Capital Global Partnership was first announced, it was clear that substantial solar electric vehicle deliveries were unlikely to occur before 2026. At the time, Aptera was projecting that it would build 371 units in 2025, but that number now appears to be closer to 100, if all goes according to plan. Although the revised delivery estimates may be disappointing for some, there is no cause for alarm. Aptera is still making steady progress through its production intent builds, and the company could very well scale production relatively quickly in 2026 and beyond. The real challenge lies in securing the funding necessary to support this growth, and this will be the determining factor in whether Apt Era can meet its production goals. Looking further ahead, Aptera's long-term plan is to ramp up production through 2026 and beyond, with the ultimate goal of producing 20,000 vehicles annually. However, reaching this milestone will require far more than the $60 million that the company is currently seeking. According to Aptera's estimates, Scaling production to this level will require approximately $195 million in additional capital, which the company plans to raise through a combination of financing strategies. These may include further equity raises, debt financing, and possibly even an initial public offering down the line. The road ahead for Aptera Motors is undoubtedly challenging, but the company remains determined to press forward. The fight for survival in the startup world is often a long and arduous one, and Aptera is no stranger to adversity. The company has already experienced its fair share of setbacks, including an earlier period when it was forced to shut down before being revived by its founders. Now, as it stands on the brink of bringing its innovative solar electric vehicle to market, Aptera must once again confront the task of securing the funding it needs to scale its operations. The ongoing $60 million funding round is a critical milestone for Aptera, but it is only the first step in a much larger financial journey. The company's ability to raise the additional $195 million required for mass production will determine whether it can truly become a major player in the automotive industry. This is no small feat, as the electric vehicle market is highly competitive, and securing large sums of capital is always a challenging endeavor, particularly for companies still in the early stages of production. Despite the challenges, there is reason to remain optimistic about Aptra's future. The company's unique approach to sustainable transportation sets it apart from other players in the electric vehicle space, and its innovative use of solar energy has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about electric vehicles. 
If Apt Era can successfully scale its production and bring its solar electric vehicle to market, it could pave the way for other automakers to follow suit, leading to a new era of solar-powered transportation.